if God calls you to do something, this will be a nice look for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, I use the Hi guys, it's me, Lily. <laughs> I'm here again with another makeup tutorial. Okay, so this time I'm going for like a Arabic um, purple gold kind of like mixed with a little green, a little bit of blue. You know how I get with my colors. I want something a little bit colorful today as usual, but um, just a little bit different, okay? Um, so I'll show you what I mean by a little different, okay? So I'm going in with a fly head brush, okay? You can use any fly head brush that you have. And I'm gonna use matte pink, matte purples, I'm sorry, matte purples. So go in with any matte purples that you have. But I'm using the Manja Attitude Anime Palette. And I'm using the Abby Roberts palette, my go-tos for now, okay, Morphe. So um, if you want more information about these palettes, please comment down below and I'll provide you where, you know, the names of the palettes and stuff like that and where you could get them, Marshalls. <laughs> you can get them at Marshalls if you want. Um, so yeah, so I'm going in the inner corners of my eyes. I already prepped and primed my eye, save a little bit of time with eye primer off camera. So you just use any eye primer that you feel like is a good eye primer for you, okay? You don't have to spend a million bucks to go get a good eye primer. You could get one, a basic one for, um, I use NYX, their glitter one, because I like to use a lot of glitters and shimmers. So, um, sorry it's dirty, I use it. <laughs> I always use all my makeup. So yeah, you can use a NYX glitter one. They have different ones too, but they're under $10, okay? Um, you can use one of those um, to prep your eyes before you put your eye makeup on, especially if you're using glitters and golds and shimmers. Um, that might be a good palette for you. And it's not too sticky and it's not going to irritate your eye. If your eyes are super sensitive, you might want to try something a little bit more hypoallergenic. Um, so you have to just do what's best for your eye. But I definitely like the NYX for um, my eyeshadow base. Okay. NYX has some good products, I would say. Some of them have been good. So I'm just going in with the purples. I'm using a little bit of a shimmery purple too to go in the inner half of my eye, the inner corner part of my eye. Okay, and I'm kind of sweeping it. I'm sweeping it up into the crease slightly. I did a similar way, similar technique that I did with my One Love video, my Bob Marley video I did. Um, that was the last eye makeup video I posted. Kind of same idea, it's just different colors, okay? And then in the inner corners of my eye, I want the inner corners of my eye to stand out. So I'm going in with the uh, Starlet color from the um, Abby Roberts palette, okay? I'm going in with this shimmery color. It looks like it's a white creamish color, but in reality, when you put it on, you put a little setting spray on it, um, and you dip it in with the brush, it comes out blue. So you put it on your inner corners of your eye and it kind of has this blue effect it gives to your eyeshadow, like a blue color, a blue tone, a duo tone. Okay. Um, I guess it depends on the color eyeshadow that you have with it too. So since I have purple next to it, it might come out a little bit more pinkish, but it does have like a bluish undertone. So I just wanted to pop that in the inner corners of my eye to open it up. Okay, guys. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Going back and forth with the purples for now. You get your desired amount of purple that you like for your eyes. And that's pretty much the inner corners, okay? Um, I was inspired to do like the inner blue because I saw the NYX um, had a commercial and they have like this blue color liner i think a new nyx color liner and it's like a blue pop that they all were wearing in the video and it looked cute so i was gonna go for something a little bit more blue possibly but um for this look maybe another day just wanted a little bit of a pop of color in the inner corners okay all right so that's the effect right and then for um, the middle of your eyes, the center of your eyes, you want to go in with a gold color. You can use a gold glitter or you could just use a gold color that you like. Okay. 
So I'm using another flat edge brush, flat head synthetic brush. I'm cleaning it off. I have my makeup towel on my lap, guys. Ooh, I almost sprayed in my face. <laughs> yeah, so um, using that, I sprayed it a little bit. And then I'm going in with a gold color from this manga anime palette. Any gold that you have. I'm going in the middle of my eyes with it. And I'm kind of blending in between the purple as well. So, guys, I hope you guys are all doing well out there. Thank you for watching my videos, guys. I appreciate my new subscribers. I did a live yesterday and I met some people on there and it was so awesome to see that, you know, people from other countries were watching. Somebody from Russia was watching, somebody from India. So I was like, wow, Felicia's a little cross-continental now. A little cross-continental. <laughs> it kind of gave me this um, feel good vibe because, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm on to big and bigger and better things moving forward in my future. As far as my career goals go, um, I want YouTube to be definitely one of my platforms for self-expression, to communicate with people, to help people in whatever way I can through my makeup, through my tarot, and whatever else comes along my way, you know, because I feel like I'm very informative, you know, and I'm not saying that to be cocky or anything like that. But I feel like it's important as a person to recognize where your strengths lie. And to give yourself kudos. Like, give yourself, like, free reign to bless yourself. Give yourself blessings. And show yourself the love. Because if you have something good, if you have a talent and you're shy about it, don't be shy. I mean, we have... Listen, guys. You know, there's, like... This is a serious topic. But, um, you know, we all think that we have the most time in the world to complete things, to do things... Oh, I'm going to get around to it. As soon as I make a little bit of time or as soon as I get a little bit, bit of vacation time, I'm going to work on this hobby that I've been loving or this this passion that I've been wanting to do for so long. And you just sit and wait like a, a sitting duck, right? We all do it. I was guilty of doing that for a long time in my life. Just sitting there saying, yeah, oh, maybe I'll get around to it. Maybe I'll do some makeup videos one day. Oh, maybe, you know, I'll try to do something with makeup, you know, who knows? Um, and I never really wanted to be a makeup artist, but I said maybe I could, since always people wanted to know about like how I did my eye makeup and stuff, I said, what the hell, why not just put myself on camera? I do this every day, not put myself on camera. I do my makeup often. So, you know, just to put myself on camera and show people what I do using some dark color for the outer, a dark shimmery color, any dark shimmery color you have, you can even just use a matte purple or a shimmery dark matte purple. Yeah, so you just, you know, sometimes, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you know, air, ma air brain, it's the morning. But yeah, you just have to go for what you want to do or what you feel like your where your strengths lie. Sometimes God calls you to do something that you might not even want to do. You know, God sees a talent in you or he gave you, he blessed you with a talent. And sometimes you're just like, oh, I don't know if I really want to do this, you know. But oh, God might be calling you. Maybe you, all these doors might be closing. Other doors that you might be trying to pursue. Because God saying, no, that's not what I want you to do, my friend. I want you to do something else. I want you to do something bigger and better. And you might not think it's bigger and better because you're like, oh, well, this is going to take a lot of my time, a lot of my patience, a lot of my effort, and probably won't make me a lot of money. But if you go in with that lack mindset, that, oh, my hobby, my career, or my hobby, my passion's not going to make me money. And I'm just using the Cara Beauty Disco Glitter Palette. Electric Disco. For anybody who wants to know. Cara Beauty Electric Disco. Yeah, so um, some people are just like, oh, my passion's not going to make me the money I'm looking for. Because it's not really a good career or a good um, industry or whatever the case may be. You life is what you make it right life is what you make it if you're really passionate about something and you really put your all into it you never know you might start off it might start off small and it might take some time just like everything in life to grow but if you put your all into it and you give your all you give your love your passion your dedication believe me you will reap the rewards of your um hard work you will reap the rewards because i had a conversation i'm not gonna say who with who recently and they were concerned they want to do something different with their life they don't want to do their stereotypical job they want to do something that they're passionate about 
but they're at the same time they're scared that you know if i decide to go down another path how could it affect me how is it going to affect my family because you know my kids need to eat my family needs to eat so how am i going to do something that could possibly not give me money and i'm going to have to wait for the money to come and nobody's saying just drop everything and run no don't just drop everything and go just like me I have YouTube. I do a YouTube. This is not gonna make me any money right now, but in the future it will, cause I'm I'm gonna be working hard. I'm gonna keep putting out content, and I will get to the point that I'm, you know, probably beyond the point. I'm not even. I don't really have a goal like this. I just say I'm just gonna do it, you know. But um, some people they think, oh, you have to just drop your whole life, like your job, and just pursue one thing. No, nobody's saying to do that, especially if you live in America. You can't just drop your work and just say, hey, I'm just going to just live off of my career. Maybe if you have a stable, you know, partner who has a lot of money who could contribute off of their own income to the house and the kids. And maybe you could just work part time for now while you get your um, career in order, your passion in order. You know, some people are willing to do that for you. If they have enough money, if your husband, if you're married or your significant other has a good job or they might be willing to take on another job just so you could do what you're passionate about and they see that you're passionate about it and they see that you could have actually a good um future in it there's a lot of people who will support you you know but the problem is that we don't support ourselves we're not our own cheerleaders we always we always talk down on ourselves oh the what is what if i don't what if what if this don't happen what if it does What if it does? And that's for some of you guys out there. <laughs> what if it does? What if it does happen for you? What then? Would you be happy? Would you be sad? Would you be grateful? You know? So life is too short. Like I was saying, life is too short. We don't know how long we have here. You know, I've been hearing news of people passing away very young in age. And it's very sad to hear people so young in my age group or in my generation passing away in their 30s, early 30s and early or late 20s, you know, it's just, it's very sad, you know, because sometimes people, it could be a sudden death or it could just be, um, you know, a natural death, but well, natural meaning that it might be health related or something of that nature. But, you know, it's still just very sad when somebody has to go so early when they have so much that they wanted to do in life you know some a lot of people just wanted to start a family start getting their job in order start um getting uh, a mortgage getting a home for themselves you know building towards their future going on vacations having good times with their partner going out going on girl trips going on guy trips you know exploring the world going out to different places to eat you know people had all these high hopes and then life just comes and goes suddenly, you know? You never know what the day has in store for us. We can only pray that we make it through to the end of the day. But no, our time is not guaranteed here. And so many people walk around like time is guaranteed for them. Oh, well, you know, five years from now, I'm going to do this. And it's nothing's wrong with having a long-term plan. I'm just going in with some pinks for my under eye. Look up and then doing it on my, under, my lower lash line. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with having goals for your future because we all have to set goals. Nonetheless, we can't just think we're going to die tomorrow. <laughs> That's not going to be helpful because um, thoughts are, are spells, in my opinion. If you keep thinking the worst situation, then it's going to come to you. So you can't think negative all the time either. But you also have to plan like, you know, let's just plan for what's going to what, what you think could happen now, you know, your future. Plan for your future now. Don't wait. Don't say, hey, I'll give it another, you know, year and then I'll think about it. If you really want to go somewhere, even if you want to go, like, travel somewhere, save up your money. Just start saving up your money now and make it happen. Just stop stalemating. Like, that's me. <laughs> that's my message. Because um, I've been wanting to get my passport in one of my videos. I was talking about it. Um, I wanted to get my passport in the early year, part of the year. And now we're almost in March. So it's like, I'm still going to get it. Hopefully by next month, by March, I'm definitely working on it. And I'm just going in with my liner, guys. 
So um, I'll show you the end result afterward, but this is like my Arabic Nights look. Yeah, um, so I, yeah, I've been still meeting on my passport, renewing it. I have it already, I just need to renew it. So that's not that bad. Getting a whole new passport is the problem. If I were to have to get a new passport, then that would probably take longer, but I think the renewal process for a passport is easier. So it's just about a matter of me doing it. So I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But I work. I'm doing YouTube. I try to do this as my side hustle. And, um, you know, I'm going to make time. I'm going to make my way downtown, <laughs> wherever I need to go to, um, to that postal office to go, or wherever I need to go to go get my, pass my passport renewed. Because I want to go to Jamaica. And I want to go other places as well. So if I want to do that, I got to get my passport. So the basic moral of the story is, guys, stop slacking on yourself, okay? Stop fronting on yourselves. Go after your dreams. Do what you want to do now. Don't think that time is waiting for you because it's not, okay? The time is now, okay? The time is now. All right, so I'm coming back with the end result of the makeup look. Thank you guys for watching. Hi, guys. I'm back. So this is my finished eye makeup look. Okay, I use some purples, a little bit of greens. It'll show up better in the sun, but um, I turned some of the lights down. But yeah, I put a little bit of gold glitter. You can even put a little purple glitter if you're feeling a little more festive. If you wanna go out, this could be a nice Friday going out look, party look as well. So giving you some ideas for your weekend. If you have things to do, a fun event to go to, this will be a nice look for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, I used the Morphe and Abby Roberts palette to do the look. And I also used the Manja Anime palette, okay, from the Rude palette brand, the Rude Cosmetics Company, okay? So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. Please continue to support my videos. Comment down below. Um, what are your dreams? What are your goals for this year? What you like to do? What are some of your passions? What are you good at? You know, let me know down below. Okay. Peace and blessings, guys. Bye.